Hi guys. So for today's practice, I'm going to be taking us through a nice grounding series. So just a few simple moves you can do just to bring yourself back into a nice calm, relaxed state. So sometimes when we're feeling anxious or anything like that, then we can feel slightly ungrounded. So as usual, we're going to be starting with a nice breathing exercise. We're going to take one hand to the lower belly area, one to the chest area. And for this breathing, we're going to be doing a nice box belly breathing breath. So to do this, we inhale for the count of four. We pause for the count of four. We exhale for the count of four. And then again, we pause for the count of four. So just to recap, that's we inhale for the count of four. We pause for the count of four. We exhale for the count of four. And then again, we pause for the count of four. So I just want you to do a few of these in your own time with your own breath as our own counts are going to be slightly different to each other's. So just taking a moment for yourself and feeling free to pause the video as well to stay for a little bit longer if that feels good for you today. Just relaxing and honouring any feelings that are coming up for you today. They're all welcomed. We don't want to fight these feelings. We want to accept them and let them come up and see what they're trying to teach us. Just softening and centering in with those breaths. Taking this time just for you. So it's a short practice today, so you can just dedicate it just to you, giving yourself this swift bit of time. Is feeling as you're going through these breaths and then eventually we're going to take those hands back down onto the knees and we're going to be taking three centering breaths together so what we're going to do is we're going to inhale and take our arms up to either side we're going to gather that, gather that breath up to the sky the hands will touch in a prayer position and then we'll exhale and bring that energy down our center and imagining it going through into the ground so you're grounding right through and then again inhale and take those arms up to the side and up to the sky hands to a prayer position and then once again exhaling down really really nice and slowly taking that breath nice and slow and then grounding through that ground and then again inhaling to take those arms out to either side once again hands to a prayer position and then exhaling down and then this time as they come down maybe pausing at the eyebrow space just keeping the hands there and then slowly bringing the hands down in front of the chest bringing the head down with it just taking a moment collecting your thoughts maybe setting yourself an intention for the practice anything that comes up Maybe telling yourself you are grounded. Just anything at all. And then eventually bowing the head down so the fingertips can touch between the eyebrow space. And then eventually releasing those hands. So from here we're going to be moving to a nice all fours position to start just warming up a little bit through that back. So meet me there in any way that feels good for you. So nice tabletop. So the knees are underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be inhaling to drop our belly and take our gaze up. And then we're going to exhale and curve our spine up in the opposite direction. And then again, inhaling to drop that belly and take that gaze up. And then exhale to curve that spine up the opposite direction. Lovely. So just going through a few of these in your own time with your own breath. Just marrying that breath up to the movement, making sure you inhale as you drop and exhale as you come back up. Just enjoying these moments. And then eventually on our next exhale up, we're going to start moving into a nice drunken cat cow. So if you've done my videos before, or been to one of my classes or anyone else's videos, you may be familiar with this. So just work into that body, into those hips, into those shoulders. Really getting into that body. And then from there, we're going to be moving into something to get into our feet. So our feet are what ground us through and it's often an area that we forget. So we're going to tuck our toes and we're going to bring our knees slightly closer together. And as if we're pushing back into a child's pose, we're going to bump our hips back towards our heels. Arms are out long in front of us. And we're just going to push back onto those feet as much as we can and then maybe rock from side to side onto those toes. So just 
activating back through our feet. So it's an area that we do forget about and we neglect, but it's this area that's helping us ground. So when we're standing, that energy is coming through our feet and just grounding through. So just find a stretch here and just open up. And then eventually we're gonna come back out and maybe pat those toes on the ground just to bring the blood flow back in. Just something new to try. Lovely. So then from there, we're going to come to our first downward facing dog. So we're going to take our hands out slightly further in front. We're going to tuck our toes. We're going to activate through that core. And then you're going to inhale and bump those hips up into the sky. And then maybe you're going to walk one heel up and then the other. Just so you walk in that dog. Feeling into that body. Opening up nice and slowly. So it might be your first downward dog today. So just allow your body to slowly ease into it being nice and kind and gentle and then we're going to step one foot in front of the other to come to a standing forward fold at the top of our mats just fe feeling that grounding through those feet just enjoying that stretch a moment and then eventually we're going to bend in our knees and then we're going to inhale take our arms up arms to the sky hands to a prayer and then exhale down in front of our chest lovely so from there i'm just going to step to face the front of the camera so we can see me properly and then what we're going to be doing is something a little bit different again just to ground through our feet so going to be rocking backwards and forwards on our heels and our toes so often when we're stood we're either sitting back on our heels or forward on our toes and we're not grounded right through so I just want you to just go back and forwards on those heels and on those toes just to feel it out in this area so it seems a bit wacky but it's just so we can get that connection to our feet again to help ground us through and then eventually when you've done that final lift on the heels I want you to take all your toes into the air and then from the pinky toe just slowly take them down and over to that big toe so now from here we're going to take those grounding breaths again so inhale to take those arms out to the side up towards the sky and then exhale the hands down in front of the chest in a prayer position and then releasing the hands so they can shine down towards the ground as if you're radiating your energy down to ground you and then inhaling back up and then again exhaling to do the same bringing the hands down in front of the chest separating the hands pouring your energy into that ground grounding through and then inhale again hands back up hands to a prayer position and then exhaling down in front of your chest this time wonderful just taking a moment lovely so now from here we're going to go into a variation of our tree pose so if you did the previous video as well you will have done the tree pose already but we're going to do it in a more grounding sense this time so you're going to take all that weight onto that left foot and then come onto those right toes and then you're going to open that right knee and hip out to the right side the foot's beginning resting on the ankle you can just stay here or you can take that foot up to the lower calf or you can use your hand to take the foot up to the upper thigh area making sure we're not resting on that knee then from there you can start playing around with taking the arms up to either side or maybe the hands are going to start coming up towards the sky and maybe they'll reach in a prayer position above your head which i'm afraid you can't see on me i'm sorry so while you're here just relaxing and just connecting with that breath and now you're trying to imagine you've got roots coming out of that foot that's grounded so I know this sounds wacky but this is just really going to help envision grounded through and finding that stability and strength so just make this your own and just feel it out and connect in with that breath just taking a moment and then eventually exhaling bringing those hands down in front of our chest and releasing the leg feel free just to shake off those legs before we prepare to come to the opposite side so we're going to take all our weight now onto our left foot and we're going to come onto our right toes you're going to open that right knee and hip out to the right side and then the right foot's going to just rest on the left ankle so you can just stay here or you can play around with taking the foot onto the lower calf or you can grab onto the ankle and take it up to the upper thigh and then just softening and relaxing through maybe inhaling to take those arms out to either side or maybe you're going to start playing around with taking the hands further up towards the sky. Maybe a nice wide treat or maybe the hands are going to come together in a prayer position. You're going to relax those shoulders down. And then once again, through that standing foot, just imagine you've got roots grounding you through. Going into that earth and just connecting you. Keeping you nice and grounded. Just again making this your own, connecting with that breath. And again, don't worry if you fall. But just imagine those roots and that strength and then eventually we're going to exhale bring those hands down in front of our chest 
and then releasing the leg as well and then maybe just shaking off those legs just to shake out that energy so coming back to your nice standing we're going to go through one more final nice centering grounding breath so you're going to inhale take the arms up to either side gather the breath up to the sky hands to a prayer position and then exhale down in front of our chest release the hands so the hands can point down towards the ground nice wide fingertips and imagine your energy going into the ground grounding you through so you're nice and secure and grounded and safe and protected beautiful so now from there we're going to go into malasana or garland pose so i just want you to take your feet slightly wider than hip width distance apart and you're going to point your toes out to either direction this is a really nice grounding pose so what we're going to do is we're going to inhale take our arms up to the sky the hands are going to come to a prayer position in front of our chest and then when we're ready we're going to start dropping our bottom down to the ground the knees are going to go over the feet and you may just come to halfway and then decide to take your hands out in front of you and then just rest there or maybe you take those hands back to the prayer position and drop that bottom down to the ground feeling free to be on the toes and having the heels up you may also choose to take the back of the arms to the inner of the thighs wherever feels good for you you may also even release the hands and then maybe just rocking from side to side just to find a nice opening but as this pose is low to the ground and it's grounding through our feet it's really really centering and helping us to feel that little bit safer and secure so you may want to have a play around with doing that and then eventually come to a nice stillness with the hands to a prayer position and just relax here and take a few moments for tea with some breaths. So making this your own, you don't have to stay in this as long as the video is allowing or you may be up on those toes and have the heels up with the hands out in front of you, wherever feels good and best for you and is protecting your body today, just so you can enjoy this moment. Wonderful. So then eventually you're going to take those hands behind the back of the bottom, come on to that bottom and then straighten those legs out long in front of you. So from here we're going to start making our way down onto our mat. So you can do this actively or you can just come down. So you can be active in those feet, take those arms out long and then activate through that core and then slowly take that body down to the ground, releasing the hands. And then eventually just bringing those knees in towards the stomach and chest area, maybe taking the hands around the shins or behind the back of the thighs and just giving yourself a nice hug and squeeze and just rocking out and being thankful that you've shown up today for yourself being proud of that and giving yourself this time I encourage you to check out the other videos if you haven't already just to help ease those feelings and emotions and then eventually we're going to start coming back we're going to take those feet back down to the ground taking our legs out long and we're going to come to our final savasana so if you want to you can keep those knees bent and have the feet on the ground just to be a bit kinder to your back if you have any back issues or anything like that otherwise you can have those legs out long and the feet drop out to either side and you're just going to take a few moments here just to recognize how you're feeling and what's coming up for you today hopefully you're feeling a little bit more grounded and as you're lying there you can imagine you've got roots going from your whole body just going into the ground and just keeping you nice and secure and grounded there and then eventually we're going to come back to those box breathing breaths that we did at the start of the practice just to finish off that grounding so one hand to the lower belly one to the chest and then you're going to be inhaling in for the count of four pausing for the count of four exhaling for the count of four and then again pausing for the count of four and you're just going to be doing that in your own time with your own breath so all of our breaths are going to be different so just do it for your own counts just remembering in for four pausing for four exhaling for four and again pausing for four we really encourage you to stay here for as long as time allows today knowing you are safe and you are grounded Thank you very much guys, namaste.